today we are doing Street and Nye Mountain in the Adirondacks. It's gonna be about a nine mile round trip and this is also the first trip that I've had my dog Cody with me up in the Adirondacks. So we'll see how she does. You're gonna to wanna to head to the trailhead near Park Lake and head up towards Mount Joe. Keep going past there and you'll start heading towards Indian Pass. Springtime in the Adirondacks means one thing that'll be constant throughout your hike, and that's mud. Remember, try to go through the middle to avoid widening any trails. So after winter in the Adirondacks, you can always expect a good amount of blowdown. All right, so there we are, the old Nye Ski Trail. That's gonna start taking us up to Nye. So the more difficult part of this hike is actually the navigation. There aren't trail markers along the way, so you're gonna have to follow the path. We've cross-referenced GPS a few times now, so have maps or have them downloaded ahead of time, and it is a difficult one to follow. All right, so a little bit down the trail on your way up to Street and Nye, you're gonna to come to a stream crossing. The water isn't too high right now, so it shouldn't be too bad for us to get across. We're gonna kind of look and see what our uh, clearest route is gonna be. Pretty crossable. And to make sure that Cody didn't knock me over while I was trying to cross, I kept her on the side and waited to call her over until I had made And depending on where exactly you choose to cross the stream, it may take you a little bit to reconnect with the trail on the other side. So this area I'm coming through, after a lot of rain, or uh, earlier in the spring, it'll be very muddy. Today, as you can see, it's dry. We haven't had a whole lot of rain. The Adirondack Lodge parking lot was full when we came in, even with overflow parking. We only seen maybe 10 people along six miles so far. So strenuous, but not too technical or difficult. Right, girl? Two-thirds of the way up, you'll come to one of the first and only viewpoints along the trail. Oh. Yeah, so a lot of this blowdown gets a little tiring going either over or under. So definitely factor that in when thinking about doing street and eye. Keep coming up, you're gonna eventually get to the fork where you can either go to street and stay to the left, 
or nigh. So we're gonna go do street first because it's a little bit longer, about half mile from here. And, uh, and hit nigh on the way back. And again, this trail junction, there's no signs. But when you get to a point where you've kind of got a skylight and there's nothing above you, uh, start looking for both the trails and maybe cross-reference your map. Yeah, it's kind of a continual uphill muddy slog on the way up the street. A little trick, Cody does not like to eat her food out on the trails, so I mix in goldfish. And that gets her to eat. Good girl! And after a quick meal, Cody was still going strong almost eight miles into the hike. Summit there. Coming up to it. <sighs> Alright, so we just got to the summit of Street Mountain. There aren't many views here, up just over 4,000 feet. Um, but we're gonna go check out the one little viewpoint before we start heading down to Nye. All right, so now we're back at the junction. We're gonna go check out Nye real quick before heading back down. So we'll see what Nye is. I think it's about a quarter mile from here. So we're right here near the summit of Nye. Not quite there, but this is one of the viewpoints. It's kind of a flat rock up near the top. Check it out. And despite being technically under 4,000 feet, Nye Mountain is still included on the 46ers list. All right, so we are heading down now after Street and Nye in the Adirondacks. As you can see, you gotta work hard for not the best views in the Adirondacks, but still a great hike. Be ready for the mud. Uh, I'm covered, so is Cody. A quick stop at Heart Lake on the way out around sunset was actually some of the best views of the entire hike. That was Mount Street and Nye in the Adirondacks because of a little bit of a wrong turn we made. You know, having to park a little bit out of um, the Adirondack Lodge because it was full at 9.30 today on a Thursday. So keep that in mind when coming up here for anything. Um, so yeah, 13.2 miles. Cody did the whole thing, but she is pooped. So if you enjoyed this hike, but you don't think you're ready to tackle one on your own, just go to roulette-travel.com slash guided hiking. Uh, get in touch and we'll see about getting you out on the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe for more hike reviews and uh, adventures around the country.